Corey, we're on a binge lately of remakes, remasters, and all that sorts. It never seems to end. And when I mentioned a little title from way back in our childhood, I said, have you heard of a game called 13? And you're like, dude, I love that game. I said, well, you're in luck. <laughs> Little did we know. Oh, <laughs> man, not so lucky. <laughs> <laughs> We're checking out the remake of a remake once again. It is 13. Uh, dude, this is not exactly what took us down memory lane. What do you think of the 13 remake of the remake? Well, Drew, you are just saying off camera, I was excited <laughs> when we first got the code for this and you told me about it. I was like, cool. I played this game yeah. back in 2003 on the GameCube. This is actually a pretty interesting title as far as when the game originally released. We're getting this cell shaded comic book style, um, kind of yeah. graphical art style of this game. And that's actually what drew me in, especially back then. Um, sure. It is a first person shooter, kind of an action adventure style of game. Um, back... In the original day, we didn't have any multiplayer. This new remake has multiplayer added in, which we'll talk about a little bit later, but honestly, they didn't really need to add this one back in because right now we're playing a remake of a remake because the original remake was released in 2020 and it was so bad, the community had so many things to say about it that the original developers actually just basically left the whole project and said, we don't have the staff to create what you want. And now two years later, we're onto a new development team and we are getting a slightly upgraded version of the 2020 remake and let me tell you drew this thing is disappointing from beginning to end i mean i play a lot yeah. of first person shooters now whether it be cod you know even fortnite's not a first person shooter but it is a shooter you know apex legends that kind of stuff and this yeah. game feels so clunky i don't oh, remember man. it being this bad back <laughs> on gamecube maybe it's been so you know it's we're 20 plus years now and Maybe that's the reason, yeah. but honestly, this game was just so disappointing. I wanted to enjoy this game kind of all over again like I did back in 2003. You get into the campaign, you kind of start with a story. It's fairly basic. I mean, we're Agent 13, we've lost our memory, we have amnesia, we don't remember yeah. anything, and it's time to, you know, solve all the problems and make our way to the end of this story. And unfortunately, just everything all the way through, man, it was I just so clunky. Everything, the visuals don't even look as good now as they did back in 2003. <laughs> they actually lost some of that cell shaded graphical art style that we really yeah. enjoyed, and now we've kind of got a mix of you know new smoother textures with like kind of like what i'll say is like a filter almost on top of the game to make it look more like the original and honestly man i just <laughs> i'm so disappointed i wanted to like this game more i went in and i tried as much as i could as far as the multiplayer even the local multiplayer i queued in for yeah. five minutes on multiplayer no matches i did that three different times five plus minutes no matches no one's playing this game and it's super unfortunate man How do you lower the gate? dude nobody should play this game this game is bad nobody i we don't recommend this to anyone this game is awful <laughs> it uh it, man, I really was hoping to get into it because I didn't play 13 back in the old days when it actually launched. So I was like, cool, this is one of those ones, right? You look back in time and you go, oh, I missed that game. Yo, jumping in. That was pumped, just like you are, right? And I get in there, like, yo, this is horrible. Clunky controls, yeah. animations are still outdated. Like, they are horrendous. Voice acting, mediocre. Art style, like you say, feels like it has this filter tossed over top of the entire thing. Dude, nothing about this game wanted me to keep playing. Stealth mechanic, this is supposed to be somewhat of a stealth game too. In certain aspects, dude, there's no stealth in this at all. You're better off just go guns blazing. You got a shotgun, lead the charge, because that's how <laughs> to play this game, because you're not gonna sneak around. I tried sneaking. Dude, I have a crossbow in one of the levels, and I'm ready to have sneaking. Well, there he is. I'm like, yo, like, there's no hiding behind anything, between anything, in the shadows. There is, like, nothing here at all. I thought, okay, cool. This story, yeah, it's cheesy. It reminds me of, like, James Bond way back in the day kind of thing, right? That, es that espionage kind of stealth, hopefully stealth thing. Didn't really pan out whatsoever. But it was just one of those games that the more and more I played, the more and more I detested playing the game. And it was so disappointing. I'm like, okay, the story, I can get it. I, I'm on board. I'm going to follow it through. But everything else just puts you off of wanting to play the game. And it was just horrendous. Some games should stay in the past. And this is definitely one of those games. And if you really want to play this game, don't pick this one up because it costs 50 <laughs> bucks. It costs $50. <laughs> if you happen to spend 50 bucks back Why? in 2020, the new update that we're playing now is a free update, but you still spend 50 bucks on what I'll consider a garbage fire because this yeah. game was definitely one of my favorite games on the GameCube. 
and it's just nothing like it used to be. If you want to play this game in all its glory, go back and pick one of those six generation consoles, play it on PS2, play it on your computer, play it on GameCube, because that's the way to play this game. It's not playing it in its current state right now. Dude, this is awful. I went from one scene into the next, right? And I've got my revolver and I've got like 50 bullets. I go into the next scene. Apparently I must've dropped all my bullets because I started, dude, they're gone. I was like, yo, I'm going into the next scene. I got all the gear I needed. I'm ready to go. I start with six clips. I'm like, what the heck is this? Yeah. Uh, everything emptied on me. I'm like, this is awful. Like, I don't know who thought this was a good idea, but this doesn't function. We do not recommend it. Scory, Corey, we should uh, just wrap this up because this, this, is a, this is just a disaster. What do you score in this game? Well, man, like I said, my disappointment is an all-time high with this. I wanted 13 to be the great remake of a remake that we should have known. A remake of a remake was never going to fly. But we did yeah. want to give it a second chance here and hopefully see maybe it come through to the end. But honestly, man, this thing is a mess. I'm never going to play this game again unless I played on the original console. And even then, it's going to be tough to pull that thing out and fire that up because games nowadays are just so <laughs> much better than this, man. I'm yeah. giving this one a two and a half ouch yeah dude i'm not that much higher than you unfortunately 13 loses 10 points and only gets there with a three